What is up, you sexy beasts? Hope you guys are doing well. Hey, um, yesterday I was thinking about benchmark workouts and uh, I realized that I have been avoiding the benchmark workouts for a long time now. And the reason is, I think the reason is, in the back of my head, I still know all my best times on all the benchmark workouts. And they were pretty quick back in the day. And so I think I've been avoiding them because I know I can't get anywhere near those times. But that stops today. I'm gonna do Diane, set a new fresh benchmark time to work on, to chase, to improve on. So that should be a bit of fun. I've always loved deadlifts and handstand push-ups. So Diane used to be one of my favorite workouts. I can't remember my exact time. It's definitely sub five. I wanna say maybe even sub four. I'll, I'll look it up and I'll post it here. But um, I used to be able to do it unbroken. Today, I'm thinking two sets on everything, maybe even three. So like on the 21s, I might go 11 and 10, or maybe even seven, seven, seven. It's gonna be super conservative, not go to failure, and just get a, just get a benchmark time to, uh, to start tracking again. This is one of my favorite ways to get my lower back warmed up. Jump on the GHD, back to front. I guess like a reverse hyper. Do some hip extensions. Oh, you get that burn straight away. My favorite way to set up my handstand push-ups has always been ab mat with plates either side. Normally I go 10s on either side. I think that's pretty much a flat surface, but I need my 10s to make up 100 kg. So going 20s, might be a slight deficit, but it's all good, eh? Okay, all warmed up. I'm trying really hard not to put any pressure on myself, but um, can't help it, you know? Bit of butterflies, bit of nerves. So uh, I'll try my best just to not worry about the time. Just get it done, get a good new benchmark to, uh, to work off. I ended up switching for this, just because um, it was too much of a deficit with the 20s on either side. The game plan is two sets on the deadlifts, three sets on the handstand push-ups. So for example, on the 21s, I'll go 11 and 10 on the deadlift, and I'll go 7, 7, 7 on the handstand push-ups. Okay, enough talking, let's do this. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, go.
two more. Last one. Five twenty-seven. Pretty happy with that. I reckon Diane must be one of the least painful benchmark workouts. Um, if you want to join me, I'm on a bit of a mission to just reset all my benchmarks. I did a 2k row earlier this week. I did that in 7 minutes and 26 seconds. I've done that under 7 minutes a few times in the past, so I'm going to try to get down close to that 7 minute mark again for the 2k row. This here, today, 527. Really happy. I reckon next time I go sub 5, good 30 seconds off, that'll be good. But yeah, why don't you join me? Let's go on a bit of a benchmark reset mission if you haven't done them in a while like myself. I was out at breakfast this morning with a fam and I got a text message from James Newbury saying hey I've got a few free minutes if you want to call so I called him from the cafe it was quite busy and loud so hope the audio is okay but uh, if you've ever, ever wondered what the uh, the Seoul 365 Gold Coast signs about Seoul 365 is the name of James's gym in Adelaide and he's uh, basically he's branding a bunch of home gyms around the country so if you want to be like a Seoul 365 affiliate in a sense I guess like a home gym affiliate he'll send you out a sign you can follow their programming it's pretty cool so let's uh let's cut now to that conversation with James hey, <laughs> hey mate how are you Good. let me just get set up here yeah you're right oh. there you go how are you mate <laughs> good how are you good bro hey. Hearing an Aussie accent is different. What's that? Hearing another Aussie accent is different. Oh, yeah, yeah, a bit. <laughs> so I'm just out for um, Bricky of the Fan. Nice, nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's up with, um, just about to hit 7 pm here, but we just got back from the lake. How's Nashville treating you? All good? Oh, mate, I love it. It's so good. Um, it's. It's not like a crazy huge city, um, it's not like New York or anything like that, but it's got, you know, it's got great coffee, you know, awesome people, everyone's super friendly, and obviously very good training partners, so. <laughs> yeah, how's it been training with T and the crew? Uh, it's amazing, having, um, being able to train, train with Brook and T and then having Shane there to, you know, to watch your every step and, you know, to take notes and, you know, you, you feel like, you feel like you're getting just a little bit more out of every single session and for me i'm getting a lot more out of every session um it's just like yeah everything is just it feels like very purposeful which is you know sometimes what i lack when i'm at home it's like when i'm at home i'm typically thinking about lots of other stuff but when i'm here i literally don't even have my phone on wi-fi during the day i don't turn it on i turn it on, have it on in the morning for like half an hour and then i put it on at night time for about an hour but during the day it's off i don't even look at it all day long so it's just you know, purposeful training and um yeah you, you couldn't you couldn't pick a better place to be honest it's like it's great so good man i love it and have you guys um have you heard from crossfit at all about the last chance qualify workouts at all no no um all I've gotten is a is an email. I haven't checked emails today, but I got an email just saying, "Hey, look, you're you, you're a part of the last chance qualifiers, so be ready." Um, but I have no details in the workouts yet. Um, but I heard along the grapevine that it could potentially be like you put in a code to to open the workout, then you get to see the workout, okay. and then you have a time limit. So I guess that is you know probably. Um, aiming to stop people from multiple attempts at these workouts to make it more like a like a face to face competition without it being face to face, which I think is a great idea. Yeah, nice. So, Has anyone else? That, um, oh, sorry, what was that? I was like, whether that's a thing or not, I'm unsure, but that's what I kind of heard. Yeah, sweet. Has anyone else? Um, any of the other crew doing the last chance qualifier at the gym? Um, not, no, not here with me. There is one other girl that is going to come and do some. Um, I'm unsure who, of who that is, but uh, Shane mentioned it to me the other day that someone will come come down and, and hit the workouts with me. So I'm unsure whether it's going to be um, a, like a, a two-day comp or a three-day comp. Either way, I think probably, and uh, Shane said this too, the, the more tests are better, the more diverse it is, the better. Um, and I really agree. Uh, I'm not sure exactly who's coming, but um, at least... I, I won't be eating it alone and then you know having having the crew there like having um you, you know will and, and um and t 
here and, and Shane and, uh, and Brooke here, you know, to, uh, <laughs> to cheer me on will be great and, you know, also help me strategize plans and stuff to try and make the most of it, which is exactly why I'm here, you know. Yeah. Like, I make, make the most of it possible. Yeah, for sure. Mate, it's Shane, I'm, I'm, I'm loving the... Um, I'm loving the Aussie shirt in the background. Is that Chano? <laughs> Can you see that? Is that, the, yeah. is that the Aussie cricket shirt? Yeah, it is. Yeah, he can. Yeah, so that's him in the background. <laughs> yeah, love it, man. All right, that's cool, bro. Well, um, do you know if it's gonna be? It's gonna be anyone filming you, like doing it? Anyone coming up across it? Um, I believe there might be a few cameras getting around. Yeah, so cool. which will be even better. Um, I guess the more, you know, I'm like, I guess in a sense. It, you know, if there's a little bit of a, a little bit of a crowd and a little bit more than just a, you know, another workout or like a daily training workout, and there's a, you know, you know, some more eyes on you, it kind of pushes you to go a little bit extra hard, or you know, take a little bit less break or whatever it may be. Um, so yeah, I think I think there will be a few cameras sitting around, which will be great. Hopefully, we can, um, you know, seal the deal this time around. And, and uh, it's definitely been a boon up for sure. Getting over here has been a bit of a shock. Not only the, not only the training and, and the volume, but also, you know, just the, how well it's all set out. And also the weather. Um, I've been coming from Adelaide at the moment, which was cold um, two weeks ago, cold and dry. Um, to the heat where it's very hot and humid. It's, um, I'm glad I did get in when I did. What's <laughs> <laughs> up, Chano? Um, yeah, for sure, man. Oh, that's cool. I was actually, um, I was about to email CrossFit to say, hey, do you want to send me to, um, to James's house to go and film the online, the online qualifier? And then I saw, your, I saw your story that you were already in LA having coffee. So, uh, that's basically. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm actually, I'm actually shooting a wedding that weekend anyway, so I, can't, I couldn't have gone anyway. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, yeah. as soon as uh, Torian kind of finished, I was talking to Kayla and, you know, like I absolutely loved, you know, the 2018 season when I was training with Tyrion Shane up in Gladstone for a good portion of that. And um, Kayla was just like, look, you should just go. You should just go. And I was like, you know, it's going to allow me to get across and, you know, solely focus on training, focus on the things that I need to, um, which hasn't really, you know, absolutely no excuses, but hasn't been the case when I'm at home. When I'm at home, I'm, I'm worrying about a million and one different things, um, but I obviously perform, and most people tend to perform and, and operate better when, you know, you can solely just focus on, you know, this one purpose, and uh, I know after, since being here this last week and a half, or, or already, I'm just like, it's been a, a huge punch in the face, but it's also been a very necessary punch in the face. <laughs> so hopefully it can, you know, go towards, um, go towards good things, and, and you know, we can, um, we can really make the most of the last chance qualifiers. Yeah, awesome, bro. Oh, well, we're all excited for you, man. Can't wait to uh, to see you do it. Punch that ticket, man. Do yeah. it for us. I can't wait either. It's gonna yeah. be fun. It's gonna yeah, be really fun. And hopefully, uh, hopefully we can um, we can we can lock it down. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Love it, man. Thanks so much for your time. I appreciate it. No, no worries at all. My pleasure. And uh, yeah, I hope everything's good back home. And uh, yeah, I look forward to uh, look forward to uh, hopefully seeing you at the games. Mm, yeah, bro. If you can f find me a um, find me a job that will pay 16k for the weekend, I should be able to yes. make it happen. I think. <laughs> yeah. I know. I know. It's so expensive, but yeah. Hey, yeah. Man, you never know. You never know. Stranger things have happened. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Awesome, bro. So hard to the crew for me. I will. All right. Awesome. Thanks, Frankie. Thanks, brother. See you, man. Bye. If you know James Newbury, you'll know that he's always got a million different things on the go. He's just got his attention split every which way so it's going to be so good to see what james is like after two or three weeks uh, under the guidance of shane with a proven crew zero distractions phone off during the day just solely focused on training and qualifying for the crossfit games so uh, i'm super excited to see how he performs in the online qualifier next week it sounds like there might be a bit of coverage maybe crossfit sending someone over to to film and document that so that'd be cool james buddy you already know that i love you and support you but uh, from the whole 60 Beast tribe, we're behind you, we're rooting for you, and we're excited to see you punch that ticket, buddy. Guys, thanks for being here. If you're new, make sure you subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment. I love getting back to you down in the comments. Uh, and all of that really helps the algorithm and the channel. Um, so do that for me. Stay sexy, keep roaring love, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.